The U.S. has approved the possible foreign military sale of M1A2 Abrams main battle tanks to Bahrain amounting to $2.2 billion. The contract will cover 50 System Enhancement Package 3, SEPV3 variant tanks equipped with M240 coaxial 7.62 mm machine guns. Supporting capabilities included in the order are M88A2 Hercules combat recovery vehicles and M1150 assault breacher vehicles. Maintenance, training, and other logistics services will also be provided by the U.S. General Dynamics, BAE Systems, Leonardo DRS, Honeywell Aerospace, RTX, and Lockheed Martin will serve as the sales principal contractors. The U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency described the proposed sale as a sign of support for U.S. foreign policy and national security objectives, as it aims to bolster the security of a non-NATO ally promoting stability in the Middle East. The M1 Abrams, a third-generation American main battle tank, stands as a testament to modern armored warfare. Designed by Chrysler Defense, now General Dynamics Land Systems, it was named in honor of General Creighton Abrams. With a service history spanning from 1980 to the present, the M1 Abrams has seen action in numerous conflicts, showcasing its battlefield superiority. The tank is well known for its powerful multi-fuel turbine engine, sophisticated Chobham composite armor, and a computerized fire control system, ensuring high performance and crew safety. The initial M1 models were equipped with a 105mm M68 gun, while later variants, such as the M1A1 and M1A2, boast a 120mm M256 smoothbore gun, providing formidable firepower. The M1 Abrams is not only a symbol of strength, but also of innovation, with features like separate ammunition storage in a blowout compartment and NBC protection for its crew. As one of the heaviest tanks in service, the M1 Abrams continues to evolve, incorporating the latest technologies to maintain its edge on the modern battlefield. The M1 Abrams tank is often compared to other modern main battle tanks like the British Challenger II, the German Leopard II, and the Russian T-14 Armada. The M1 Abrams is equipped with a 120mm smoothbore gun, similar to the Leopard II. The Challenger II has a rifled 120mm gun, which is unique among modern MBTs. The Russian T-14 Armada is said to have a newer 125mm smoothbore gun with an unmanned turret, which could potentially offer better performance and crew safety. The M1 Abrams uses advanced composite armor and has been upgraded with reactive armor and active protection systems in its latest versions. The Leopard 2 and Challenger 2 also have advanced armor, with the Challenger 2 noted for its particularly strong turret protection. The T-14 Armada boasts a new generation of armor and an active protection system that is claimed to be capable of intercepting various anti-tank threats. The M1 Abrams has seen continuous upgrades in its sensors, fire control systems, and networking capabilities to maintain its edge. The Leopard 2 and Challenger 2 have also been upgraded with modern systems, with the Leopard 2 being particularly noted for its versatility and upgradability. The T-14 Armada is a newer design and incorporates many modern technologies, including an unmanned turret and advanced networking capabilities. The M1 Abrams has been combat proven in several conflicts, providing valuable operational experience that has been used to improve the design. The Challenger 2 has seen service in Bosnia, Kosovo, and Iraq, while the Leopard 2 has been used by various countries in International Missions 1. The T-14 Armada has not yet seen combat, so its performance under real-world conditions is untested. 